Oh, that's a very big stretch. I don't know if you can see, Barney is with me. Yeah, you can see that floof of a tail. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We've got a fun one today, haven't we? We're gonna go shopping, we're gonna go antiques shopping, have a browse round, maybe some charity shops, but my plan of action is to hit, especially two places that I want to go to. Firstly, the Vintage Emporium, which if you're local to it, is near Stockport, well, it's in Stockport. It's where we got our vintage French workbench down in the basement, like as a console. That's where I got that from. And also there's a place that I've never been to before in Levenshume, I think that's how you pronounce it. They've got like an antiques village it's called. And again, it's just a few like different stands of antiques, collectibles, one man's trash is another man's treasure type items. So I thought I would bring you with me. I've got a bit of a shopping list of things that I'm keeping my eyes peeled for, which I'll explain to you in a bit. Apart from that, just spending the day with me, loving life, enjoying this summer sunshine, summer, <laughs> spring sunshine. That's a nice paw, can I have your other paw? Oh, look at that showing off for the camera. Before I jump into today's vlog and before you spend the day with me, I wanted to firstly kindly thank today's video sponsor, Babble. Now, some of you may or may not know, I am a linguist, I'm a language learner. I studied Spanish and French at GCSE and then continued on my French studies at A-level and then continued it on further education at university. I studied modern language studies at the Uni of Salford. So I studied um, French there. I also did a bit of, like a little bit of tastes of other languages, but predominantly French. And yeah, for me, this was like a partnership that was just so organic, so natural because I love language learning. I think as a skill, it's really interesting and what a skill to be able to do, to be able to firstly understand other languages and to converse with people in your non-native language. And also just, it's, I find it fun. It's a fun learning process, especially with an app like Babbel, whereby they kind of take out the element of like, oh, school education. And it's just, there's lots of adaptive, fun ways that you can, that can suit your lifestyle as well. So it is an app, which I will leave a link to in the description box below. They have online language courses that are live. So again, it's that kind of like connectivity with other people who have similar interests to you. They do also have self-study courses and like lessons. They also have games that you can unlock and that do like little challenges. And you can also have them set up notifications to notify you to do some learning for five minutes every day or for longer if you prefer, but it's all to suit your lifestyle and how much time and effort you can put into the app. They just really work together with you in like a really nice way. So yeah, I really wanted to recommend Babbel to you guys. Not only are you connecting with other people and their cultures, I find it builds confidence if you're traveling to a country whereby you just wanna just want to do a little bit of learning before you go. Perhaps you're really looking to invest your time and effort into learning a language, potentially even for a new job role. So they've got a variety of languages. French is just one. And for me, it's great to like, just keep current with my French so that I don't completely forget it, seeing as though I don't use French in my everyday life. But yeah, not only do they do French, they do many other languages, Spanish, German, Italian, Polish, Russian. I do particularly like the speech recognition as well. So not only does it talk to you, but it allows you to talk back, your pronunciation kind of checks that for you, as well as the sort of like the grammar, the podcasts that you can listen to, and all those other things previously mentioned. So with my unique link, which I will pop in the description box below, right at the top, so you can click through really easily and find it, you can get 50% off the lifetime access of all languages. The content is updated regularly with real linguistic experts, also true native speakers as well. And when you do sign up, you get a bonus of two free, yes, free live online classes when you subscribe. So thank you to them for kindly working with me on today's video. Don't forget to check it out. Let me know which language you're gonna go for. And who knows, maybe I will venture into uh, learning a new language myself of the list of languages that they offer. Without further ado, I feel like it's time to get ready, get on the road. My first port of call is gonna be the Vintage Emporium in Stockport. 
so let's go you see this sunshine absolutely blooming marvelous so before i head into the first stop which is the vintage emporium i wanted to let you guys know what i'm looking out for so you'll be able to see in the clips if i spot anything that i'm after let me just get the list up because from the top of my head the first thing that i'm thinking is for front door hardware if i see any kind of antique brass like letter plates door knockers i always like the idea of keeping my eyes peeled for like vintage books whether they be like a collection of really old looking books to style up or more so with charity shops i suppose coffee table books that look really nice on display uh so they are like books are always something that i've got my eyes peeled for and then another thing that i have on my list is um like a wooden washboard if you've seen neptune they quite often use washboards for styling purposes like in a utility space and it's like a long thin ridged wooden board that once we do have our utility space back because currently it's basically a temporary kitchen once it is back as a utility space we have an area which i think it would look really nice propped up with maybe a little candle in front of it or something i think you can get them with like glass in as well but i, I want just plain wooden but we will see anyway so let's head on in to vintage emporium let's see if we spot any of those few bits um also like little wooden stools anything for styling purposes basically is what i'm after also i was looking on pinterest last night look at all these like bookshelf inspo images for styling purposes just i cannot wait to style spaces up right let's get into the first shop and see what they have to offer there is a lot so i might be in there for a while in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper so I had a really nice browse. They did have a washboard, but again, it had the glass in it. And I was looking out for washboards. They also had door hardware that was black. And because I'm wanting a black door, I did think black hardware on a black door, not sure. So definitely an antique brass is what I'm after. Um, I'm going to head now to Levenshume Village, Antiques Village, I think it's called. Never been there before and i think it's a similar concept to where i've just been but on a slightly smaller scale we shall see we'll discover it together so let's get on the road let's head over there and let's see what levenshume antiques village has to offer Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain We'll take it in the view You will find the life is Greater than you knew When you go through the storm I 
there's a new blue drink on a raspberry cloud. Blue raspberry frappuccino. Can I please get a decaf oat milk cortado? So Love and Shoe Market, no, what's it called? Antiques Village was good. They did have antique brass hardware, door hardware, which you may have seen in the vlog. I was tempted. It was just the design of it that I didn't love. And also I have seen some similar online that are the same sort of price because I was in there quickly looking on my phone. So I left it on this occasion. I don't know if I'm going to regret that or not. But I think it was just the kind of like, tw like <laughs> twirly outside pattern that was throwing me off. I just wanted something a bit more plain and simple. But anyway, it was good to have a good browse around there nonetheless. I've just pulled up at Costco. It is Wholesalers, if you've never been to it before. This one's the one at the Trafford Centre. It's right by a big Asda as well. So I need to get a couple of foodie bits. And I've seen that there's a Neptune Zoo. <laughs> Zoop. <laughs> Neptune dupe in Asda at the minute. So I'm going to hunt it down, see if I can get it. Speaking of Neptune, I've had a delivery notification on my phone to say that a Neptune parcel has been delivered. Except it's not just any old Neptune parcel, it's the Neptune outlet parcel. So I'll show you what I have ordered when I get home. But for now, I'm just going to pop into Costco. I just need to get stock up of things like kitchen roll. I want to get, I got these uh, ginger shots last time I went in. So I'm going to see if they've got them again because they were really good. Always love a little browse in Costco. So, oh, I've timed it as well for the samples and potentially a pizza for lunch which will be a real treat, but I'm having a me day. We're having an out and about me day. Whilst I'm in here, I thought I'd have a look at fridge freezers uh, because we do still need to buy ours. And look, honestly, some of the technology that you can get with these now, knock twice to see inside. I'm also trying to decide which is best in terms of whether you have freezer on one side, fridge on the other, or fridge, freezer. Guys, look at the size of that olive tree. It is massive, 285 litre pot. It's so big. I love this size for in our garden, but we're just not quite ready to dress it up yet. But I'll probably be coming back here after we um, landscape our garden to buy some of these for outside. There's a tree on the move. Can you see it? There it goes. I want one. Another thing we're also looking at is coffee machines. We saw, Oh, it wasn't this one. It was one similar to this, but it had like a smart screen. We saw it in John Lewis on offer. It can get real expensive, but I feel like at this stage, we're just kind of like toying with whether or not to go for a really nice barista style coffee machine like this or stick with an espresso, which I think to be honest with you, we'll probably just keep an espresso one anyway. Um, because as you can see, the Nespresso ones, the one that we've got is from Hotel Chocolat. They're quite slim line. Our old one we're going to get rid of because it doesn't work properly. It never has done. The KitchenAid one and it's super bulky. So yeah, we'll probably still have an espresso machine. We need to have a look at maybe getting a barista star one as well. We're also going to have to at some point get some new pots and pans and these are quite good. All KitchenAid. We have had a KitchenAid one in the past and really liked it. Or, I mean, we still got it, but um, yeah, 95 including that. Um, for an eight piece KitchenAid and these work on induction hob which we've never had before so yeah we need to get pans suitable for that
there was the biggest queue for pizza at Costco, so I decided to leave it. Went to McDonald's instead in Asda. And this is the evidence. Ketchup. Anyway, I'm back home and I thought I would show you apart from like the boring bits, the kitchen roll water, stuff like that, which are actually still in the car. I need to unload them. I did pick up some other bits, random bits. If you know Costco, you know. Um, I've never tried these before. Shiitake mushroom crisps. And then I also got these truffle crisps. This bag is massive. It's from the Ugly Truffle Company. Exceptional hand cooked potato crisps with wild black truffles. I love truffle. It can get a bit sickly, but I just feel like, especially if you've got guests over, to pop some of these in a bowl just to snack on. Delicious. So I got those. Now, I know I've been collecting really nice looking cooking books for our kitchen. I have a space in mind that I will put them out. Um, I did find this one, and I thought I could do with some more green ones. Seeing as though we've got colours colours of green, pops of green throughout the new kitchen living area, including the island. I thought we'd incorporate some more green and when I saw this green, it's gorgeous. So it's a cooking book called You Can Cook This by Max Lamana. Simple, satisfying, sustainable vegetarian recipes. 11.99 that one was. Okay, so you can like switch out plant-based ingredients. All of the recipes in this book have been tested with plant-based ingredients and that's how I like to eat it, but you don't have to. So for instance, like cheddar, feta, mozzarella, butter, and other things like that, you can obviously just use the vegetarian recipe as opposed to vegan. But anyway, yeah, I got that book. I did get the ginger shots that I picked up last time. The, um, what are they from? So, so Natural Defense. I have one of these now. These are quite good actually to be able to keep for when I start making my own ginger tonic again. These little bottles, perfect size. So I might do that. Can I take the labels off? Just because, you know, aesthetics and all. Ginger shop time. I feel like these ones aren't too intense. There's still that burn, but they are good. I picked up some lighters, mainly because when we have been lighting up the barbecue in the garden, Tom keeps on saying like, have you got a lighter? All I've been giving him are these matches, which aren't ideal, in like a glass jar as well. So I keep on being like, have you finished with it? Can I put it away? So I'll just give him one of these. These have a couple in here which are wind resistant as well. So they're kind of designed for outdoor use. A couple more snacks and these go straight in the freezer. So we've got some fresh cookies that you can literally bake from frozen and it, you can just use the air fryer for these. So if ever I'm craving like fresh cookies. These ones are delicious, I have had them before. They're from the brand Dolicious, the London Dough Company. Bakes 12 cookies. And then from Dochi, which is like the Little Moons, the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. Yum. Really random purchase, but I got these because we now have hard floor on three out of the four floors in our house. Um, but especially more so the ground floor where we've just had the really nice herringbone floor put down and we just want to protect it. So we were thinking for furniture and things to get these little surface savers, they're called. They're the little felt fuzzy things so you just pop on the bottom of things. So we got a big pestle and mortar, or Tom did, brought it back from India. That's a prime example of sat on the island rather than it just scratch the island or anything, um, the quartz to just pop a couple of these little felt fuzzy things just underneath it so it sits on them. So yeah, anyway, this was I think about five or six pounds for 310 pieces. Who knows if we'll get through that? I doubt we will, but we're stocked up for life there. I also got these. Now, it's 52 piece, so it is a lot. It's an ultra absorbent, durable, ultra soft, cotton, 100% cotton cloths that are good for um, dusting, polishing, that kind of thing. and. I just thought to be able to just take maybe, if you're doing a full house clean, maybe like 10 of those, so 52 is a bit extreme, I definitely don't need 52, but 10 of those with some spray bottles and polish, whatever, in a little caddy around the entire house, and then just bung them all in a wash at the end of the cleaning session, and just have all of the same ones, all white, so I'm going to 
at some point reorganize these fold them all up have a good sort through of all like any old cloths that i've got that maybe need binning just get rid of and replace them with these ones they were about seven pounds i think for 52. i will just show you what i bought from neptune this first one obviously like i said, I said earlier this from neptune outlet this first one i'm not so sure on i'm really not sure so online it was hard to see how green these stems were but they're like a faux artificial moss stem but they are like vibrant green i did pick up five of them one two three four five yeah oh are you helping with the packaging thank you uh, thank you uh yeah i did pick up five of them so that's what a bunch of five looks like and they are like wire so you can manipulate and twist them make them a lot thicker and fuller and this within a bouquet i thought would look really nice as well but yeah that that fuzzy felt stuff on them is very very green i think they were about five pound a stem which i thought for neptune is really good and then i also got from neptune a couple of other things again outlet prices these ones so bear that in mind oh my goodness this is a whopper so i picked up you guys know i love my neptune laundry stuff and this rosemary and thyme fabric conditioner i do use this as a refill for anything i've had this particular one for a while um which obviously the original rosemary and thyme scent is long gone it's some kind of Lenore in there or fairy, but for, that's almost finished now. So I'm gonna use this to top it up every time. It's the Rosemary Tide Fabric Conditioner, but it's the, how big is this? A five litre refill tub. They used to retail for around about the 18 to 20 pounds each. It was 20 pounds for five litres. So yeah, I've got that. And then also they did have a couple of scents left and products left in that size of which i decided to get another one of the ironing waters because i do have one up there currently in fact i'll keep it packaged up for now i might as well rosemary and thyme scented ironing water and this one is just the standard one liter one uh, but yeah once i've run out of that then at least i've got a spare because they've been discontinued so i wanted to make sure that i had a spare at least Anyway, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming out and about with me, shopping, seeing some antiques. I also just wanted to thank Babbel once again for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, if you want to check it out, I will leave the link to the app down below in the description box, whereby you can click through and get 50% off the lifetime access. So yeah, enjoy. Let me know which languages you guys are going to try out. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you end up doing, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.